So today I'm outside a busy Holloway Road and I am visiting a church, St Mary Magdalene's Church, here, which has lovely grounds and we are going to be looking at distributed 3D printing and STEM and schools. I first came across 3D printers at the Mozilla Festival a couple of years ago where children were using Minecraft to model objects which they then sent up to a server and printed out through a 3D MakerBot printer. So here we go. A little business in the crypt of St Mary Magdalene's Church. We started our business when we were in the final years of our university degree which was between um, which was called Design Innovation and we've all graduated with a Masters in Engineering. Sinter is a full service design and engineering consultancy. Uh, we look to develop solid stakeholder solutions for a range of clients and uh, we're particularly interested in services and solutions that have not just a marketplace but a place in people's lives. We're the most well-known company that's been starting up over the last few years, uh, someone that we've been working with basically since they started is 3D Hubs. They started in Amsterdam, they now have offices also in New York City. Um, the concept behind that essentially is if you have a machine that's capable of producing parts or finished products, then you can go onto their website and request a print from a supplier. Now those suppliers are more often than not, uh, again coming back to cottage in industries, uh, they're often operating out of their home or another sort of shared workspace. I tutor at Queen Mary University. I um, tutor my students in um, engineering and design learning. Um, they end up teaching me as much as I teach them, I feel. <laughs> they can be teaching me things about thermoplastic materials. Um, there is an unconventional knowledge in tinkering that can really be uh, built upon. <laughs> um, but and another role that we play in STEM is, is myself and my colleagues go into schools, we, we create workshops, we go from ideas right through to manufacture, manufacture little items that we'll show you later. Uh, for example, we've put on workshops at Swiss College Library and other locations around London. And uh, in those workshops, we start with paper and clay with a very simple creative brief. We take young people and people of all ages through the entire creative process that we use in our practice. At the end, however, their designs are translated into something that's printed on the 3D printer. So this is a robot chair. This was designed by a six-year-old initially, so she drew it on a piece of paper. It was then modelled in clay. And then from that clay model, um, we were able to start creating a CAD file in which we produce this robot chair. But this chair was, as you can kind of tell, had a basis on squares. So um, we, that's, we, we really try to, you know, not, not dumb it down, but really try to bring it back to its, its raw roots by saying, can you de design me an object from some simple shapes? And obviously this is kind of quite a, quite a unique outcome from something like that. Um, and there, there that, that idea gets passed around a group and they develop it. So this is what ended up coming out. I'm not sure it's particularly structurally stable, but it, it looks pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, these things don't fit neatly into a textbook. Um, and, and there are times when I'm working with someone that has no formal qualification from a university level sort of study, or if they do, it's in an, you know, an area that's not relevant. So, so the technology is an technologies have enabled us to start use start creating and generating businesses like we've never done before. So in conventional manufacturing we would have needed a lead time on this. Uh, with the technologies we're using my lead time can literally be 10 minutes and it's already in production. So um, there's a real power there. Uh, it becomes a familiar sort of thing. I just want to express the importance of communities because we had an interesting job here a couple of weeks ago where no other company or um, facility was able to produce a prototype in the time that, that we had available and to the cost, the budget that we had available. Whereas because we embrace with a 3D printing community, we're able at the push of a button or the, the 
the call of a phone, <laughs> be able to harness our whole network and get them to an outsource within them. So it was, it's about how we're able to rapidly scale our manufacturing process here in a matter of like hours, whereas that sort of um, facility is not available for any other sort of manufacturer. And it's this distribution that I think that 3D printing offers that's going to really revolutionise manufacturing.